What's that sound? It's the launch of a brand new Surface. Yes, the Surface Go, a new 10-inch device from Microsoft has just been announced. Today we're going to give you a quick tour of the device and tell you what you need to know. Stay tuned. The Surface Go is a follow-up to the Surface 3 from 2015. It's a 10-inch device and is meant for the mainstream consumer audience and it should be pretty successful when it comes to the display you're talking 1800 by 1200 resolution. That is 3 by 2 aspect, of course, and yes, it does support pen as you would expect. But let's get to the real thing that you want to know about, which is that processor. We are talking Intel Pentium Gold. 4415U processor. It has a seventh generation Kaby Lake. It was announced in 2017. It's dual core, goes up to 2.3 gigahertz. And let's just put that in real perspective here. It is going to be twice the processing power of Surface 3 and two and a half times the graphics power, which is due to the Intel HD 610, which powers the graphics on this device. Overall, though, it performs more like a Core i3 processor, so it should be pretty good. In fact, the few minutes I got to spend with this device, it felt zippy and fast enough for me. Let's get to those ports. You get full Surface Connect port as well, and it does work with Surface Dock. You also get, thankfully, a USB Type-C port as Microsoft is now using that. It is 3.1, so you can charge it with the device. You can also use it for data or display out. You also get a micro SD for expansion up to one terabyte, which should be a lot of fun. And you're going to get a headphone jack as expected. When it comes to the design of this device, it's exactly like a mini Surface Pro, including that kickstand, which is exactly the same and fully articulating. You're also going to get a new keyboard that is Alcantara, of course, or you can get the normal one for $99. The Alcantara is going to go for $130. It's a full-size keyboard, backlit, and that trackpad is actually huge. It's the same size that's found on Surface Pro. It's a small keyboard, don't get me wrong, but it should be good enough for people to type on. The rest of the specs are the same though. You're going to get a 5 megapixel front facing camera, 8 megapixel rear camera, and you also get Windows Hello support. For memory, you're going to get 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, but you can go up to 8 gigs of RAM and 256 for storage as well. There will also be an option for LTE later this year. In terms of cost and availability, you're talking $399. That's without the keyboard and pen, of course. It'll go up from there. That's pretty competitive compared to the Apple iPad. And it'll be available in the U.S. and Canada at first and expand to other countries later on. Now, I got to spend a few minutes with this device in New York City, and it's a lot of fun. I think it's going to be popular for a lot of people, including parents and kids, which is how Microsoft is positioning this device. In fact, it does play Minecraft at full 60 frames per second. It looks really nice. It will also be good for the education market and elementary schools, where they can sell this a lot cheaper than Surface Pro. And don't forget enterprise and businesses who will also want this device. Now, it does ship with Windows 10 Home in S mode, which is the first time we're going to see that. And for the professional version of the device, it will ship with Windows 10 Pro also in S mode. Now, if you want more information about Surface Go, well, we'll be doing a full review in the coming weeks, so leave us questions below if you have them. Otherwise, subscribe to our channel and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.